precipitation in Texas not actually even reaching the ground. We do have some moisture returning, though, out of the Gulf of Mexico, and a new system will be moving on into the Pacific Northwest. Even though high pressure is in control for you right now, we are anticipating a new front to move in, and that's going to be our next big weather story. So. High pressure in control now, but the next front waiting in the wings here in the Pacific. High pressure over the southwest. Looks like a beautiful day in store for you. Notice that the moisture is already returning here into Texas, and we could see some actually uh, strong thunderstorms start to break out in the central sections of Texas late this afternoon into the evening hours. Here's our clipper that's moving through the northeast and it's giving way to some scattered snow showers. We're getting a little bit of snow into parts of Maine and Vermont, New Hampshire. The white and green mountains are getting it. Boston is getting snow, but in Newark we're getting some light drizzle. We're also getting some uh, drizzle and a little bit of light rain on into the southern sections of Pennsylvania and uh, even into New Jersey. So. That's the deal for you. High pressure and control across the southeast, even though it is moving offshore, we're still getting uh, the effects of that area of high pressure. Clouds will be on the increase across western sections of the southeast, and that possibility of rain is going to be on the increase through the evening and into tomorrow. You'll watch it uh, come in fairly rapidly, actually. Okay, as far as temperatures go, well, we're talking 27 degrees in Minneapolis right now. Cooler air behind that little system. 46 in New York City, 32 for you in Boston. But look at the mild stuff across the southeast. 68 in Atlanta, 62 in Dallas, 72 in Houston. And we're talking 40s across the Pacific Northwest. Factor in the wind, it feels like 2 right now in International Falls. Feels like 8 in Minneapolis and 34 for you in Chicago, so not too bad. National radar goes into motion, and we see the uh, potential for some snowy weather here. And as I mentioned, uh, <laughs> we're looking at the trouble spots. I-91, 81, 87, I think I said 77 earlier, it's 87. And uh, even the LIE and the Merritt Parkway could be a little bit slick, so... Better watch out. Wintry travel going to be in the northeast, but we will shift gears as we head into the forecast. And the northwest is going to be our main focus of attention. The result through mid-next week is going to be showery periods across the northwest. Rain sinks to the south. Unsettled pattern to linger in the northwest, as uh, we were mentioning. And there you have it. The uh, jet stream takes a dip and that trough digs offshore, and we'll be seeing that moisture just pumping on in, so that persistent onshore flow is going to be the problem, folks, so get ready for that. The result, as I mentioned earlier, showery periods in the northwest, rain sinks to the south, even central California in for some rain later on this week. Okay, back to the forecast, and we will talk about Monday. Hey, you got to love these mild temperatures in store. Florida's looking great. We've got 80-degree uh, weather in store for you from Fort Myers down to Miami. 70s across the southeast, but a little bit of a, a fly in the ointment here across the northern plains. Look at that. Highs reaching only into the teens for you across the Great Lakes. And that's going to be a little below normal, believe it or not. Into the southland, though, 70s even some 80s. The trees are blooming, the flowers are out, the allergies are <laughs> upon us, and uh, yeah, what can you do? Take your allergy pill and go on and enjoy the weather, right? Scattered showers and thunder showers across the southeast. You've got some snow in the northeast and a little bit of snow across the uh, Great Lakes. What's happening is we've got a pretty fast-paced weather pattern and each system moving on across the northern plains pretty rapidly, so we won't have a whole lot of action across the southland where the mild temperatures will be, but with that colder air, that possibility of snow is going to whip on across the northern plains and into the northeast. As I mentioned, that trough digs in the west, and that will become our center of attention with the possibility of rain and also some snow for the higher elevations. Stay with us. We'll take you traveling. Generations. Power when you really need it. Look for Honda generators at your local Honda power equipment dealer. Hit 250. Your local forecast. Weather information you can plan on. Only on the Weather Channel.
on weather scope. Waters recede in some flood ravaged areas. However, more rain is on the way. We'll tell you how much to expect. Those stories plus in depth forecast and analysis on this edition of Weather Scope. Good afternoon. Glad you could join us here at the Weather Channel. I'm Janetta Jones, along with my partner, Jim Cantori. Hey. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Most of the country looking pretty good. We have a few trouble spots. Oh, don't we always, though, yes. in the world of weather, yes. But uh, I'll tell you, it's been wonderful here in the South lately. Mm -hmm. But that, wasn't it windy the other day or what? Just Too a couple windy. days ago? Yeah. But if you think it was bad here, it was really bad in the Northeast. And as a matter true. of fact, several folks still without power up there. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and take you on off to Virginia, where if you think it's bad in New England, well, then you, you know, you always, it's always worse, folks, believe me, than you think it is with yourself. 16 counties here have been declared disaster areas. New Richmond, Ohio, this is the one you're seeing here, is one city trying to deal with the flooding. Although many homes are more than a quarter mile from the Ohio River, they are filled with water and mud. And a lot of folks here had to wait and are still waiting to get back and, uh, and see what this latest round of flooding has done to their homes. We're not even to the heart of the rainy spring season yet. Mm. Well, the good news is we don't see any big monsters coming your way with regards to rain. And with another cold front moving on through, another shot of some drier air heading down the pike. So that is definitely good news. Our low, pro low pressure heading through the northeast today is producing an area of mainly light snow, a few pockets of moderate snow here in southwestern Maine and southern New Hampshire around the Merrimack and Connecticut Valley, or not Connecticut, but around the Kankamangus Highway and down and toward northeastern parts of Massachusetts. Looks like we got a little bit of a dry area kind of working in here across Connecticut. And for the most part, if you head south of Hartford, it's mainly rain. So New York City escaped this thing with not too many problems at all. Nice day in the southeast. A few mid-level clouds rolling through this morning as I awoke. And you can see the low-level clouds here showing up very nicely on the infrared satellite picture across the southern states and a little bit of moisture trying to fall out of these clouds as well in the form of some showers. Apparently that uh, image that I wanted to show you does not exist. That's why I'm here already on Janetta's first image. We'll talk more about the West and actually show you some special graphics here in just a moment. Janetta. Well, things are going to be changing across the West. We are looking at a new storm system that's going to be rolling on in, and that will bring the clouds. It will also bring the moisture into place, and we're going to talk about some rain and some snow. Let's take you to Denver, where you're looking at some really great weather. This was yesterday, actually. Folks were uh, able to get out and do a little ice skating, and the temperatures were in the 50s, so it wasn't too terribly cold. In fact, it was pretty mild, actually. And we've got another nice day shaping up for folks in Denver. High pressure is in control. I think you're going to enjoy the afternoon, so get out and have at it. All right, here's that satellite vantage point across the west. And you know what? High pressure just in control about everywhere. We do have another storm system, though, and it shows up on this particular satellite vantage point. It's starting to roll on into the Pacific Northwest, and that is going to mean the increase in the clouds, high pressure will give way to that area of low pressure, and the possibility of rain is going to be moving into the picture as well. Not a whole lot of rain on this map right now, but that is going to be changing. We do have some fog on I-5. Please take it easy. We don't want you running into the other guys, so slow it down and keep those lights on, okay? Low, low dim lights. As far as precipitation goes, a little bit of spritz here and there in parts of Montana and Wyoming, but for the most part looking at a pretty decent day. 56 right now in Denver. We're looking at 40 in Portland and 41 in Seattle, 51 in San Francisco. So a mild day, but things will be changing and actually will bring the rain on into central California a little later on in the week. So by Wednesday into Thursday, we could be looking at a total turnaround as far as the forecast information goes. And speaking of the forecast, here it is with Jim. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. We go ahead and start off with the unsettled pattern, which is expected to linger across the Pacific Northwest. Pretty nice little disturbance. So as I looked at the water vapor earlier on, which will come on in, and as it does, it'll bring around to showers and thunderstorms. One frontal move through today and tonight, and the next system uh, expected to arrive in about 24 hours after this one. So it'll be a continual period of showery periods, some mountain snow, and uh, with the next, probably the one coming in toward the early part of next week, there'll be enough energy for it to sink on down to the south. Let's go to your forecast series now. We start off with the maps. Our low pressure wave will slide on through. It'll cool off this afternoon and tonight in New York City. So even though you escape this situation as a mainly rainmaker, 
it will cool off tonight, so be careful traveling on some of these secondary roads. Our low pressure scoots on to the east, Boston winding up with at least a couple of inches of snow, and our showers will be slowly but surely increasing across the southern states. And we think as more moisture gets into this weather system, there's a better chance of getting more widespread showers. This doesn't look like a big severe, it doesn't look like a big rainmaker, but nonetheless, uh, obviously anything that aggravates the situation in the Ohio River, northern Kentucky, western West Virginia is not what we want to hear, but this could very well be the case. We look at our rainfall, half inch to an inch uh, developing. This will be later on toward midnight when these showers get organized. Most of the stuff initially is going to be pretty much on the light side. There you see our band of one to three inches of snow, mainly north of the Mass Pike. That's where we'll find uh, our main thrust of the snowy travel. And another nice day shaping up for the south. Even with those few mid-level clouds that I showed you rolling through the Tennessee Valley, temperatures will be nice. They'll get up there into the 70s. So we will continue to see spring's fortune uh, unfold across the southeast. And well, I thought I was going to show you the lows tomorrow morning. Anyway, it's going to cool off in the northeast. And with more on next week, let's talk to Janetta. All right, high temperatures on Monday. You got it. Nice, mild stuff across the deep south. And actually on into the central plains, you got to love 60-degree weather, don't you think? 20s and 30s, though, uh-oh, this is a sign of things to come. Some much cooler temperatures are going to be coming down the pike for you in International Falls and Minneapolis and even Chicagoland. Not bad across the northeast, but not great either. Not like uh, what folks are going to be experiencing down the Blue Ridge Parkway or even down into South Georgia and Dallas and Houston. We're talking. 70 degree weather. Now into Thursday we may even see some 80s for you in the Texas Panhandle and the Central Plains. But the teens and the 20s, I got to tell you, that's a little below normal for this time of year. So even though we were experiencing some warmer temperatures, the cooler air is coming on into the picture. Monday that front sort of dragging its heels across the Gulf Coast and the moisture is going to be there, so we'll see some scattered showers. But for the most part we're going to see one storm system after another clipping on across the northern tier. And that will mean some wind, some rain, some snow, depending on where you are. And don't forget about what Jim was explaining, that trough digging here in the west. And so that will spread the rain into probably central California by Wednesday. And do expect some snow for the higher elevations. But primarily looking at some scattered showers and snow for the very, very highest elevations. Some moisture starting to return into Texas by Thursday. So we may have a little event we'll have to deal with there. What's your favorite spring flowering uh, Japanese cherry. Japanese cherry. Mm -hmm. Those will be coming out shortly. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mother, we're going shopping for wallpaper. They'll be gone for hours. No one makes finding the wallpaper you want faster and easier than your Sherwin Williams store. Okay, girls, Jacks are better, trips to win, deuces wild. Sherwin Williams exclusive service can access thousands of patterns, finding you what you want in no time. I am <laughs> Mother? Look for the Easy Does It logo and save 10% on all fabric-backed vinyl kitchen and bath books. Your Sherwin-Williams store, where to get it. After yesterday's workout, Carol Walters woke up a little sore, but she already promised Pete they'd go for their run. So she took a Motrin IV, the same Motrin doctors have prescribed for aches and pains for years, but in non-prescription strength. And Motrin IV works better than extra strength Tylenol. So now Carol's ready. Let's go, Pete. Pete's been ready for a while. Motrin IB. The strength of Motrin when your body needs it most. This is your local forecast. Weather information you can plan on. Because we show it on the 8th of every hour. Local on the 8th on the Weather Channel.
outer frosting. Maybe you like yours rich and creamy. Or maybe you like a softer, fluffier whipped frosting. Either way, Betty's got you covered. With Betty Crocker, life is sweet. When your job calls for travel, call Thrifty Car Rental first at 1-800-4-CARS. If you're looking to save money, call Thrifty first. If you want a great deal and a great set of wheels, call Thrifty first. It's one number, toll free 24 hours a day. Call Thrifty Car Rental at 1-800-4-CARS and get low, low rates on first-rate transportation. Best of all, it's Thrifty. Relentless stress. It can bring on acid indigestion. You need powerful relief. Rolaids can absorb 47% more acid than regular Tums. And it works fast. Why spin wheels? Rolaids spells relief. Weather. Every day it moves and changes. There's something happening somewhere. And we bring you all of it in Weatherscope. The day's top weather stories with live on the scene reports during major breaking events. Up to the minute forecast for the nation and specific regions. And fascinating insight that lets you understand exactly what's happening and why. Weatherscope. It's all the weather you want. Every 30 minutes on the hour and half hour on the Weather Channel. Time now for our skiers forecast, which is sponsored by Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. I guess we have to check things out as we uh, take you to some of your favorite slopes here. No doubt, four inches at Mount Snow. That's the new snow there. Having a great weekend in New England. Kind of nice of winter to arrive all of a sudden, huh? There's an inch at Stratton, Seven Springs. A little warmer today, but out west, maybe an inch or two coming for Breckenridge tonight with a weak upper air disturbance in Crested Butte. Always a fun place to ski, skiing on some, some fresh powder. Stay tuned. from everywhere, but they all wind up in the same place. The Wound and Wound Toy Company, one of the world's largest collections of wind-ups, LA's hottest movers, shakers, and big talkers. So bring your inner child, your real child, and your Visa card. Because at the Wound and Wound Toy Company, you won't wind up with anything using American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. running late, so you need to start the pot roast. Come on, you can handle it. Just open the bag and season. Add water and seasoning. Toss in veggies. The roast bastes itself in the bag, so it'll come out tender and juicy. Now feel up to tossing a salad. For mouth-watering meals without the mess, flavor up with McCormick Bag and Season. Perfectly tender, perfectly seasoned every single time. I'll be home soon. I think you can start without me. Right now, the weather is changing. What's here today can be gone tomorrow. Because we know you need to plan and prepare, we dedicate a special team to forecasting the outlook for the days ahead. So you know what to expect. Watch our five-day planner, 20 minutes after every hour on the Weather Channel. No place on Earth has better weather. All right, let's head on over to Alaska and Hawaii and see what's happening. We've got a little snow to tell you about in Juneau and McGrath, a little system that's moving on through the region. And we also have a big area of high pressure here across the Pacific. It's actually in control for most of California. Now, that is going to be changing as we uh, bring the jet stream on into the picture later on in the week. By midweek, we're going to see it take a nosedive, and a trough will be forming here. We anticipate the rain to be scattered from Washington State and Oregon on into Central California. But let's take you to Hawaii, where we got a lot of good news. Uh, Lahui, 74. Honolulu, the beaches of Waikiki looking great, 74 degrees, 67 for you in Hilo. North to Alaska, where we've got some snow to tell you about, 36 right now in Juneau, some scattered snow showers there in Fairbanks, that 9 below in Bethel, 6 below in Barrow. Well, stay tuned. We'll tell you if this cold air is coming your way. Now you can give them pizza whenever they want. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza. Pizza bagel.
Bagel Bites. Bite-sized pizzas on wholesome little bagels. surprised at what you can whip up with the TV Food Network. We're really cooking. Call your local cable or satellite company and tell them you want to taste. Eye drops. They may all seem alike, but only Visine is recommended by pharmacists more than four to one over any other brand. Visine gives you 100% of the relief you need. Visine. It gets the red out. Weather scope. It's all the weather you want. Every 30 minutes on the hour and half hour on the Weather Channel. Watch this boring, flat, limp hair go from this to fuller, thicker, voluminous looking hair that anyone can do just like that. Introducing the revolutionary new Tap Teaser. The Tap Teaser's unique double hooked teeth give you double the volume. Every time you tap, Teeth lift and feather, building layer upon layer of full, beautiful, tangle-free hair. Tap, 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 bangs get bounce. Tap, 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 sides get volume. Tap, 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 fills in thin spots just like that. With each tap, double, double, double the volume for mounds of thick, beautiful hair. Now get that $30 salon look in seconds for $12.95. You get two different styling tools. This easy-to-use styling guide. Call to order your tap teaser today. Call now, 1-800-607-4499 to order your complete tap teaser system. That's 1-800-607-4499. Again, that's 1-800-607-4499. This is your local forecast, and stay tuned. The National Outlook is just ahead in our five-day planner. Channel. No place on earth has better weather. All righty then. Let's go through the next five days and see what's cooking. And even though we're in a new place here at the Weather Channel, I did manage to find the vapor. I mean, what would it, I, if, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have this thing. <laughs> anyway, you can see what's going on. A lot of the action in the West. Our systems are coming on in. The energy is kind of splitting with them. And we're actually dealing with one of that spl those splits today across the Northeast. And you notice this weaker southern branch down and through here across Southern California. We're actually going to be seeing a little system evolve in the southern branch. And that's what's going to spread the rain and even some thunderstorms this afternoon 
across parts of Texas. Here's the visible satellite imagery. You can see how the low clouds have been increasing in through here, the sign of the moisture returning. They're even talking about a slight risk of some severe thunderstorms this afternoon across western Texas. And really, in order to get this, we're going to need to erode a lot of these low clouds. But for now, we're looking good. High pressure builds in behind this weaker system. And of course, up to the northeast, our low clouds and our snow continue to come on down from Portland, Concord, Boston, on back into the Capital District. A few pockets of moderate snow, basically one to two inches from the Mass Pike on north. That's what we're looking at today. Our low pressure scooting to the east. Our moisture starting to evolve here in the southern plains. And finally, we see a, a robust front beginning to develop by Sunday morning. This one doesn't look like it's going to be a big severe weather or rain producer. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few areas get uh, an inch or more of rain, but not a huge area of three to four inches. Believe me, the pattern that we have right now is nothing like what we've been dealing with uh, or, or what we dealt with when we got that tremendous tropical rain storm all the way from Ohio on down into Louisiana. This system, this front, will continue to fly on by, especially the northern fringes of it. So it'll take probably about 12 to 16 hours to push through the Ohio Valley. So during the day on Sunday, by the time Monday rolls around, it'll be, it'll be a history. Again, a lot of this will be later on in the period with regards to the rainfall. Notice the showers, too, coming into the Pacific Northwest. This is snow equivalent up into New England. And as I mentioned, the general snow will be north of the Mass Pike. Another gorgeous day shaping up in the south. And if you happen to have planted a special tree of, of, of myself and my friend called a Styrax, watch out for those boars down here because they have already gotten into my Styrax. And just go out there with a little Duraspan and spray the trunk from about the ground level all the way up to three feet. Watch out for this stuff. It's real poisonous. But doggone it, I'll tell you, they'll wipe out that thing. But that is a beautiful, fragrant flowering tree coming out a little bit later on in the season. Tonight, temperatures 30s, 40s, just a little FYI there. It cools off in New York behind the front. It was warm enough to not even have to worry about the snow with this particular situation. 60s, 70s for your Sunday. And as we go on into next week, notice what's happening in the southeast, the southern plains, and the southwest. We're looking good. We're looking real good, real good. The stronger branch of the jet stream will actually be sitting right across the middle part of the country, and it'll separate two distinct seasons, winter and spring down to the south, and that's what we'll be looking at here right through this week. All right, notice how the action kind of skirts across the northern tier. The first front kind of dangles down here on Monday, but we think it's going to kind of rise back north and then kind of head out with this system as we go on in toward Wednesday. It's uh, kind of nice for winter to finally arrive, isn't it? We'll have more snow in March in the New England states than we're going to have probably of all the other months combined here. This is a pretty active pattern for you folks, and I'm sure by the time this system comes into the west and starts to redevelop here, it'll once again be pretty active in the northeast. But big time wind with each one of these little clippers in New England. A woman is feeling a little sluggish, so she goes to her personal trainer and she says, hey, I'm feeling a little sluggish, what do I do? Get a Katera, said the trainer. So they take a test drive and she puts it through a workout. Climbs a few hills, passes a truck, and stops on a mime. The more she drives it, the more she likes it. The more she likes it, the better she feels. Katera does my heart good, said the woman. I think I'll buy one. Exercise your prerogative, said the trainer. Katera, it's the caddy that zigs. The good news is Little Caesar's pizza by the foot is big. That's also the bad news. Guess what? The new pizza by the foot's so big there's something for everybody in here. Little Caesars Pizza by the Foot with Stromboli. Nearly three feet of pizza with your favorite topping on each section at nearly a foot of our new Stromboli Fold Over Pizza. Just $10.99. Carried out. Pizza, pizza. Stay ahead of winter with one complete forecast. The Winter Weather Update at 50 past the hour only on the Weather Channel. This business travel forecast is sponsored by MCI World. Is this a great time or what?
America! I'm Ask him, what is it like floating in space? What? Do you ever get a chance to sleep? It used to be that we just launched rockets into space. What's the scariest moment? What about the holes in the ozone wall? Today, through distance learning, MCI can launch entire schools. Ma, if you can't sleep, take a Unisom. It helped last time. It's not habit form. Ma, it's okay to help yourself get a good night's sleep. All right? I love you, too. Weatherscope. It's all the weather you want. Every 30 minutes on the hour and half hour on the Weather Channel. This is your local forecast. Weather information you can plan on. Only on the Weather Channel. weather scope. Waters recede in some flood ravaged areas. However, more rain is on the way. We'll tell you how much to expect. Those stories plus in-depth forecast and analysis on this edition of weather scope. Welcome to the Weather Channel. I'm Janetta Jones along with Jim Cantori. Spring hey. is hitting a little early this year. I kind of mm -hmm. got the sniffles a little early. You were out working in your yard. I'm, ex I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mean, it's been a long week even though I had the week off. I'm, I am exhausted. You're also yeah. quite tan. I, I did get a little bit of sun, didn't I? <laughs> but everything's coming out, Jeanette. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I can't believe how early some of the Japanese maples mm -hmm. are coming out. I mean, they're all starting to leaf out. So it's nice. It is nice, but hopefully we won't get a late freeze. Everyone's been asking me, Jim, so tell me about this late freeze. I can't. We're not really in a pattern for a late freeze. Right. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the Northeast where winter has finally arrived. And I'll tell you, they are still without power in some places across northern New England. About a foot, foot and a half of heavy, wet snow. I guess there was, uh, oh, wee, I can't remember. I was just talking to my mother this morning. About 24, 25 inches of snow up there in, up in Burke Mountain, Vermont, one of my favorite ski resorts when I was going to school to learn about this wonderful thing called meteorology at Linden State College. It's right up in here in the Northeast Kingdom. And you talk about some fall color, ladies and gentlemen. You ought to go up here in the fall. It's absolutely beautiful, actually all of New England. I couldn't believe how gorgeous it was just driving the Mass Pike this last fall. I, actually, I wasn't driving. I, I gave my keys to my old roommate in college. I said, you drive. I'm scoping out the colors. 
Anyway, speaking of the Mass Pike, uh, anywhere north of there, you have a shot at about one to two inches of snow as this quick moving low pressure area works its way to the east. It is starting to deepen. I've noticed a couple areas with pressure falling rapidly. But Hartford's raining, Providence is raining, New York City, rain. Going to escape this one with no snow at all, mainly from the Mass Pike northward uh, if you're lucky. Notice the satellite picture showing the motion generally on off to the east, which means our weather system is passing on by. And once the upper level system clears New York City tonight, that is when we will get into the cooler weather. But look at this. Behind the first area or the first surge of moisture, we actually have some breaks in the clouds. And then ahead of the cold front, there may even be a few more showers that pull on through a little bit later on this afternoon. So keep an eye on that. Here's the radar. Notice the back edge of the precipitation from about Hartford uh, on north towards south of Albany. And this is the snow up and through here. Some patches of moderate snow. This is the rain down around Providence. And speaking of rain, we expect some rain. Even some thunder showers could develop in West Texas later on this afternoon or into tonight. But just a lot of low clouds in through here right now. So it's going to take quite a bit to uh, erode some of that and actually get some shower and thunderstorm development. And you can see what's slowly trying to take place here. The bark obviously worse than the bite. Maybe a few showers developing aloft, which means they're not reaching the ground. We'll have some more wet weather here developing before not too long. We'll talk about that in the weekend outlook coming up. But right now, let's go back to Janetta for a look at the west. All right. Thanks, Jim. Here's the satellite vantage point. We have high pressure in control for the most part here in the west. So you're looking pretty good for your Saturday. Go ahead with those outdoor plants. We do have a few spritzes of uh, precipitation across the inner mountain west, but that is about it. Now, the next batch of energy is going to be moving in right here, folks, and that is going to uh, give way to some clouds and some rain and also some snow. I'm going to show you the radar, even though there's not a whole lot on it, until you head on into Montana and in Idaho and Wyoming. But this is going to be changing. I-5, a little bit of fog right now, and the big problem will be with the rain later on tomorrow, and maybe even late tonight we'll start to get into the precipitation. So that's going to be a sign of things to come, and eventually that rain will spread on into central California by midweek. So the trough is definitely going to be developing here, and that persistent onshore flow is going to create some problems. Temperature right now in Seattle is 43. It's about 48 in Medford, 52 for you in San Francisco, and still climbing. In the 60s in Los Angeles and 58 in Denver, you got to love the kind of weather that you have been seeing over the past couple of days. Well, with a look at that forecast, at least for the, the near future, here's Jim. All right, we'll examine this one for you as we take a look at that forecast. And low pressure will continue to scoot onto the east, as I talked about. Out ahead of that, a few breaks in the clouds around New York, down to Philadelphia, maybe a few showers coming on in with the actual passage of the cold front. And our snows will gradually wind down. But as this low moves to the east, it does have a chance to quickly develop there. You just kind of get a little quick burst of energy from the ocean. And then voila, we may keep the snow going around the east coast of Massachusetts right through the afternoon and early evening hours. Our best chance of snow mainly lying again from the Mass Pike on north and eastward toward the Merrimack River. Showers and thunderstorms will try to develop down to the south and our system in the west will continue to charge inland. And as it does, some of that energy will start to move into the south some more will start to move to the north. We'll look at some snow and some rain breaking out and through here. Not a big situation, but one that we'll watch, obviously, because any rain in the Ohio Valley will aggravate what's already happened and kind of slow the, if you will, the drying process out. But as we work our way into Saturday, Sunday afternoon, those showers heading east of Pittsburgh down toward Birmingham, we'll be looking at those showers. Atlanta, you may escape a pretty nice weekend here. Get out of some of those low clouds that we're dealing with today. And tomorrow's looking pretty nice. Half inch to an inch of rain if you're lucky through midnight tonight. This rain, of course, will expand northward and then eastward as we go during the day tomorrow. And our snow, again, mainly north of the Mass Pike, generally one to two inches, maybe a couple spots getting more, especially the farther east we go because that's where the low will tend to wrap on up. Uh, two seasons here. We're still into late winter and down to the south. Spring really kicking in. And even the overnight lows reflecting some spring. As we start to bring up the warm, moist air, some of the low clouds, the fog forms a little bit early, and we'll see temperatures in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. With more on your weekend outlook, or the rest of the week, I should say, weekend outlook is pretty much gone by the wayside. Let's take a look at next week with Janetta. All right, here we go into Monday, back to work, back to school, and we have got some really nice temperatures across the 70s, 
Southern Plains on into the Tennessee Valley. Not even bad across California. But the thing is, we're going to see that jet stream take a bit of a nosedive here and try and bring in some colder air for you in the Northern Plains. And so your highs will be reaching only into the 20s and 30s on Tuesday. By Wednesday, oh my, we have the teens in store for you in Bismarck and International Falls and Minneapolis. At the same time, we're talking 70s here in Dallas and Houston, and you got to love the kind of weather you're going to see across the southeast. Uh, it's going to be really, really nice as far as temperatures go. Short sleeve weather, especially in the afternoons. Might be a little cool in the mornings, but uh, afternoons are looking great. Monday, that front hangs up across the southeast, but we're going to have a lot of action across the northern plains with one system after another. The trough does build across the west, and that's going to mean some rain and also some snow for the higher elevations. But uh, do keep in mind that we're going to see a, a fairly fast-paced weather pattern here, and uh, a lot of folks in the north are going to be affected. Yeah, and once those clippers ride down through New England, they're really going to explode mm -hmm. in a lot of windy conditions. The winds of March will be blowing there, I'll tell you. Yeah, so batten down the hatches. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we won't have anything as bad as this week, though. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Stay with us. A look at Europe coming up. Do you want to make rust, lime deposits, and other tough stains disappear like magic? Barkeeper's Friend, the premium household cleanser, is your magic wand against stains. Barkeeper's Friend makes tough stains vanish in seconds. It's great for those tough cleaning jobs around the house. Sure, you could buy a cleanser that is less expensive, but you'd have to buy several different cleansers to equal the versatility of just one can of Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend, one can does it all. This is your local forecast, weather information you can plan on, because we show it on the 8th of every hour. Local on the 8th on the Weather Channel. Choices. It's your cup, it's your cough. So rich, so creamy. It takes your coffee from ordinary to extraordinary. Your cup, your coffee mate. Want tea, Daddy? Sure, honey. Fill her up. A short while ago, Mike Ward had a backache. But he couldn't postpone his tea party with one of the town's best hostesses. So he took a Motrin IV. The same Motrin doctors have prescribed for aches and pains for years, but in non-prescription strength. And now that his pain is gone, he can concentrate on the things that really matter. Good tea, huh, Daddy? It's excellent tea, Becky. Excellent. Motrin IV. The strength of Motrin when your body needs it most. Hey, how you doing? I'm that new sponge who's trying to look like a Scotch Bright scrub sponge. <laughs> Everyone wants to be a Scotch Bright scrub sponge, but they can't be because Scotch Bright scours over 50% faster than any impersonator. Thank you. Get, out Get the scour power of Scotch Bright.
Know what to expect. Watch our five-day planner 20 minutes after every hour on the Weather Channel. No place on Earth has better weather. Well, as we uh, skip on over to Europe, we want to show you what your forecast is for the midday or uh, Sunday. High pressure will be in control for the British Isles. If you're flying into Heathrow, no problems. Flying into Paris, have a good time. Madrid's looking good. Rome is looking nice and uh, even looking pretty good for you in Germany and Norway and Sweden and Switzerland looking nice as well. So, what else can we say? Nice weather. A little front moving on into Russia and the Balkans, uh, southern Balkans, looking at a little bit of a snow situation there, but hey, temperatures starting to warm up. It's starting to get to be that time of year, if you know what I mean. All right, let's check out a few cities. Showers for Athens, low 50s, low 60s in Brussels, and partly cloudy skies for you in London. Rome will see nice stuff. Partly cloudy in Frankfurt and mostly sunny for you in Madrid. Upper 60s is what we're thinking. Paris looking very, very nice. A lot of sunshine, mid-60s, and partly cloudy skies for you in Stockholm.